Okay, so you can see from my quiz now that I've added a few more questions. Um, it's very simple to do. So you need just to. I, all I did was I duplicated the slide, then edited the questions, and edited the uh, hyperlinks to make sure that the correct and the wrong uh, subroutines were attached to the right buttons. Now, what would make this quiz, there's lots of things that would make this quiz more useful and we could go on forever and ever and ever with it and uh, hopefully you'll have some ideas about things you would like to do. But I just thought for the final thing we'll look at how we can, instead of having a, you got one wrong and two right, we could uh, put that into percentage terms. Um, and it's fairly straightforward as long as you get your head around the maths. So. Um, what we've got now is four questions and a percentage is simply um, the number you got right divided by the total number so if I get three right and I could have got four it's three divided by four and then you multiply the answer by 100 to get a percentage so if we go into our code we need to look here this bit here that's highlighted it's this message here is the only bit that we need to change so because everything else is set up, we're recording how many questions uh, got correct and we're recording how many got wrong. So from that information, we can turn it into a percentage. So let's delete that so we can say uh, you scored and we want to have the number correct divided by the total. Now we haven't recorded the total anywhere specifically, but we can do that now by number correct plus number wrong. So I've had to put that inside brackets as that's a separate sum of its own. Add number correct divided by number correct plus number wrong and then multiply by 100 and close the brackets again. And so that will say, let's have a look, what will that say? You scored and it will say if it was 3 out of 4 multiplied by 100, that would say 75. Uh, so we need to then add and percentage, open speech marks, close speech marks. And I've put that bracket in the wrong place. If it's the end is going to be here, that should be the bracket. Okay, so that's as long as you understand the maths, you can start to think. We're starting to think it's a little bit more complicated now, but perhaps is a little bit more useful. Let's see if Bob's around to uh, test this for us. Okay, so phishing, secure, better get one wrong. The three digit security code on the back of a credit or debit card is actually called a card verification value number, but I will get the answer wrong and you should set your antivirus software to be updating automatically daily so we'll get that one right so we've got three out of four Bob has so we are expecting it to say 75 percent when you're testing it's always a good idea to have an idea to have an idea of what you're expecting to happen you scored 75 percent that's good okay so that's uh, probably where we're going to stop you can uh, add that to your quiz if you want and if you're really interested in this whole programming thing and then you've got some ideas of how you could make your quiz even better then uh, have a word with your teacher and uh, see if you can work it out together how the code should run.